Joining us on The Blend from the Capital Area Michigan Works is Amanda Johnson, who is the business resource coach. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Bob. How are you doing today? I'm good. Listen, I want to talk to you about job seekers and employers or employees, actually, who want to prioritize their mental health and also their emotional well-being while searching for jobs. Uh, and also maybe at the same time experiencing stress at work. How do they do that? Right now, especially, it's a difficult time because so much of having a peaceful life is about habits. And as we all know, our habits have been completely disrupted. One of the things that I've been doing is making sure to have wellness checks when I come in and out of work. Even when I'm at home, it's not only important to have a nice clean space that you can work in, but to separate it mentally from the rest of the space that you're in. Even if you go outside, take a quick five minutes to breathe some fresh air, and then come in with the right mindset to work. What I also say to job seekers is set aside a couple of hours every day at the same time so that rather than your life feeling dominated by the job search, you put in three hours, you take a nice lunch and a break. It feels a bit more like a job so that you can take your me time for yourself. Yeah. What about financial habits and how can they help with your well-being? Oh, financial habits are very important, especially during this time when Costs are starting to rise. The thing that I always make sure to do is I have a spending plan. So I always encourage the individuals I work with to spend proactively. Write down when your bills are due, but remember, you don't have to pay on the due date. Even if you can't pay ahead of time, you can still move it into a special checking account so that you have that money set aside. And I like to tell them to arrange all their payments based on their paycheck. So when they actually have money left over, they don't accidentally use something that they have dog-eared for their insurance and don't know what to do. So you're the business resource coach. So tell me, how does the business resource network support employees? So the Business Resource Network is a novel retention strategy that we offer to employers by directly offering support to employees. And largely that takes two different kind of ways of doing things. One is almost, I love to say that I'm a problem solver. I'm here for you to bounce ideas off of, to give you some new, you know, interesting, fresh takes on it, to help you work through those problems that are in your life. The other thing that I do is I create partnerships in the community. I love our partnership with DHHS and with Legal Services in South Central Michigan, so that if individuals are suffering with something they can't solve on their own, we can help make that path to connecting them to resources a lot easier. Great information. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Bob. I hope everyone has a great and stress-free day.